morning everyone so what do you think about my my vlogging spot <clears throat> everybody else has cool backdrops and stuff in their videos so i figured i would try this one out so i am going to talk about the joke guy from the 90s yes there was a joke guy from the 90s and i know he's probably still out there somewhere probably doing something else but I was having a discussion with a friend of mine on Twitter and he made me remember um, that we used to sell gold door padlocks. Oh, no, hold on. Got one right here, actually. No, if I can reach it. Okay. Yeah, I can reach it. Oh my gosh. I grabbed two of them, <laughs> but there's a, a couple of different colors. Gold door padlocks. And they are commonly Chinese type key retaining actually. And they are kind of famous for having the cylinder on the side like it's their thing. So we used to sell these and he had showed me one, of, I guess he just got back from China and he was showing it to me on Twitter. And I was like, oh, hey, we used to sell those. It made me remember the countless phone calls in the 90s. This was kind of before the internet and Amazon and eBay and Facebook. I mean, before all that, um, we had computers, but it was really just, you know, for billing and whatever else. But so back then there were sales people that would call. That's how they did it. Either through, you order stuff through like Locksmith Ledger or your trade magazines. Or there were people who did nothing but sit and call all the locksmiths all around the world. And I know some of you guys remember this guy because he answered the phone. I can't remember his name for the life of me. So if y'all had, if you remember this dude's name, then let me know. But um, he was like, he'd pick up the phone and he'd, hey, this is so and so. And then he'd be like, tell you the dumbest joke. Like that was his spiel every phone call. And this was when I was working for the company that was the company before this, Blackstocks. And he, I, when I started working here, I, you know, I, I would answer the phone and I'd hand it off to the owner at the time. And he dealt with him. And they had this click. And it was cute and funny, you know, the first couple of phone calls that I had to answer and, like, deal with. And then as my progression through the company, you know, as I started doing more and more and becoming responsible for more and more stuff regarding the lock work, uh, the lock end of it, he uh, would just irritate the crap out of me. And I finally just told him to stop calling. And now uh, if you're out there, whatever, I don't care what you're doing, don't call our number and do anything, please. You're not allowed to call our phone number. So, um, yeah, I'm just wondering if any of you other guys, because I know some of you guys have been locksmiths for a long time, ever got a call from the Joe guy. And he, and he sold tools. He sold padlocks. And I actually found one. Those gold door padlocks was one. Um, but another one was like stuff like this Medico pick, which I'm actually going to feature in another video because it's uh, interesting, cool. And uh, I think we got that Teflon from him. And I remember getting some tubular lock picks that were a little small. Uh, it's just like one of the HPC picks, but just a very short version of it with a little knurled in and you put it in and the little feelers would move. We got several of those, um, a couple other odds and ends, but I remember, you know, that was like I said before I did purchasing, that guy, uh, he, he would start calling, he'd call like once a month just to check in and tell us a bad joke and see if he needed the newest thing that he found. So, if you're out there, bad joke guy, I hope you're doing well, but don't ever call here trying to bad joke your way or sell anything to us if you're still doing that. Um, so, I'm just curious if any of you other guys remember the bad joke guy. And I was kind of testing out my new backdrop. So, I'm thinking about doing... Um, you know, kind of a, just a little chat every so often and uh, vlog is so overrated used in my opinion, but this is kind of what it is. So it is what it is, you know? So I'll just do maybe miniature every so often just to get stuff off my head. 
And uh, yeah, it's Friday, so happy Friday to everybody, and I hope y'all have a great weekend. I uh, am in the background, you can hear a thump, thump, thump. Yeah, that's up the street. They're driving in pilings for something. So my next videos, again, will have construction noises in the background. And anyway, I was just wanting to see if anybody else knew about the bad joke guy. So uh, if you do, leave a comment, let me know. And uh, if you remember that guy, or if you ever bought any tools from him, let me know. Because he was, um, you know, a salesman. He just, just called around all the time and sold tools. So I'm sure made commissions off of them. Um, I'm trying to remember what else we bought from that guy, but I know that the guy that had the shop before fell for a lot of his stuff. Some of it was neat, like that Medico pick, but some of it was junk. And I'm pretty dang sure that's where these gold door padlocks came from um, because we only stock padlocks that we can sell keys for. But anyway, and then we ordered keys through. phone call spam salesman for internet now <laughs> so anyway i just thought i would uh i would uh do this little mini video and hope y'all have a great weekend again happy friday it is really nice here i hope your weather's nice and you know i know y'all are all over the world but it is nice i'm t-shirting it today it is almost shorts weather here in mississippi but um we're still having snap cold spells in the morning so it's like having to wear long sleeve shirt in the morning and then come down to your t-shirt by 9 30. but anyway y'all have a great one see you next time